Welcome to South Maui, where you'll find some of the most amazing beaches in the world. With crystal clear waters, white sand beaches, and endless sunshine, South Maui is the perfect place for beach lovers. There are several beaches to choose from in this area, each with its own unique charm and characteristic. Let's start our beach tour from the northernmost point of South Maui with Sugar Beach, also known as Kealia Beach. It's a beautiful stretch of white sand that runs for over two miles along the coastline of Kihei. It's one of the longest beaches in Maui and it's known for its tranquil waters and stunning sunsets. Sugar Beach is surrounded by luxury resorts in Ma'alaya and North Kihei and it's a great place to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Maui. Moving southwards, we go down to the Kihei Beach. It's a long stretch of beautiful golden sand that's perfect for long walks, jogging, we're simply enjoying the sun and sunsets. Now we're at Cove Park, and Cove Park is really a cool spot. It's right in the middle of Kihei. It's just before you get to the Kamaoli Beach Parks, and it's after the Kihei Beach area. And uh, this is most notorious for where you come to learn how to surf. There's uh, several surf schools here. They're always surfing out. It's a very small break and a great place for people to learn. There is a nice little beach area right over by the Cove Park parking area. And then this way, there's another big beach park where they have volleyball courts, a skate rink, and a skateboard park. So it's a really neat space. And then right across the street, there's a little shopping area where they have a lot of outdoor kind of flea market kind of places and a bunch of bars, lovingly known as the Triangle. We really don't know what the origin is, but it may be the Bermuda Triangle. People have gone in there and got lost sometimes. So let's go on down and check out the Camoli beaches. I'm right now at the top of Charlie Young Beach. It's actually part of Kamaoli Beach Park 1, but we're gonna take a walk down and uh, we'll check it out. Next up is the Kamaoli Beach Parks, a series of three beaches located in the town of Kihei. Kamaoli Beach 1, Kamaoli 2, and 3, each of the beaches offers a different experience, from family-friendly Kamaoli 3 to the quiet and more secluded Kamaoli 1. All three beaches offer plenty of opportunities for swimming, snorkeling, sunbathing, and my personal favorite, Camoli Beach Park One, for paddleboarding. Nearby is plenty of shops, restaurants, and places to just hang out. Now we're at Kiavakapu Beach, one of my personal favorite beaches. Situated right between Kihei and Waialea, this is a beautiful stretch of golden sand that is just ideal for hanging out with your family. Coming out paddleboarding, you can rent paddleboards and kayaks here on site. Uh, there's a condominium right here, Mauna Kai, and it's just a great beach. We love to come out here with our families, hang out in the sun, hang out in the surf. It's easy surf, easy water to get in and out of, which I really love. Now, there are certain times in the winter when it is a big surf spot. It's a place called Sidewalks, and the waves can get pretty big at some points in time. So just be aware of that, and it is a lot of fun. I also love that there's tide pools and the kids can go out and hang out and see all the little fish and the critters that are in those little tide pools and it's easy to get around and safe. So another reason why I love Kiavakapu Beach. And stretching along Kiavakapu Beach are many beautiful, very, very amazing oceanfront homes that are available for sale. Kiavakapu Beach will take you all the way down to Wailea Ikahi on the other end, on the southernmost end. Uh, and it is a beautiful walk uh, to come out and just enjoy Maui's best beach. Now we get to Waialea, and Mokapu Beach is the first beach and probably the least known beach in Waialea. It's just a couple hundred yards long and perfect for sunbathing and hiding out. Mokapu is right in front of Melodia Community and the Andaz Resort. This would be considered the, one of the beginning or ending spots for the beautiful Waialea Beach Walk. Next, after Mokapu, is Ulua Beach, another great spot along Waialea Beach Walk. Located right in front of the Waialea Ulua condos, this is a great spot to soak up some rays in Waialea and to do some amazing snorkeling. It's probably one of the best snorkel spots. Continuing south, we hit the Waialea Beach. It's a great spot for swimming, snorkeling, and sunbathing. It's also close to several high-end resorts, including the Grand Waialea and the Four Seasons. Further south, we have Polo Beach, a hidden gem in South Maui. It's quiet, peaceful, and surrounded by lush greenery. It's a great spot to escape the crowds and enjoy the serenity of South Maui. This is the other end or beginning of the Wailea Beach Walk. Also, you'll find barbecue grills at the beginning of this park. Now, let's check out McKenna. Pelaway Beach, also known as White Rock Beach, is a small but beautiful stretch of sand located off of the McKenna Road. This quiet, secluded beach is often uncrowded, making it perfect for a peaceful day of relaxation. 
The water here is generally calm and clear, and it's great for swimming, snorkeling, and hanging out. Moving southward, we come to Polenalena Beach, another gorgeous stretch of sand that's popular with locals and tourists. There's plenty of parking, and it makes it easily accessible. There's also a rocky path that goes to the right where you'll find a very hidden and secluded part of the beach. Just past McKenna Surf, there's a couple more uh, small beaches. Right on the other side of McKenna Surf, there's this tiny little crescent beach. I don't even know the name of it, but when you go to the south end of McKenna Beach, there's a beach parking lot, and right there, you walk down the hill, and the beach is maybe big enough for 10 people, but it's a great little spot. After you leave that one, continue south, continue on the old McKenna Road, and you'll come to McKenna Landing. At McKenna Landing, that's where it, they used to bring the cattle in and out. There's a beach area right there and it wraps around the, the road where they also do kayak tours and people will load their kayaks and paddle boards. Another great spot. After these little beaches and McKenna Landing, then we get to Melawaka Beach, which is situated right in front of the McKenna Golf and Beach Resort. Very secluded, very private, and a great beach. Just past that is Oniuli Beach, which is one of our black sand beaches. Hard to find and it's tucked away down a little beach path, but it's really a cool spot to go experience a black sand beach, and it's right at the base of the cinder cone. Then, Little Beach is right around the front of the cinder cone, and that's our unofficial nude beach. Again, it's clothing optional, it's not legal, but it's Maui, and that's what pretty much happens there. Big Beach is also known as Oniloa Beach. This stunning beach is about a mile long and features soft golden sand and crystal clear water. It's perfect for swimming, sunbathing, and even bodyboarding or surfing. Just be careful of the powerful shore break, which can be very dangerous for unexperienced swimmers. Ahihi Bay is next. We come to Ahihi Bay, a small sheltered cove that is perfect for snorkeling and scuba diving. The water here is home to the abundance of colorful fish, coral, and other marine life. Just be aware that Ahihi Bay is a marine sanctuary, and be careful not to do anything to get in trouble. Visitors are asked to be very respectful to the environment, and not disturb the wildlife. But that's the case in all of our beaches and in all of our marine environments. To conclude, these are just a handful of some of the most amazing beaches in the world, and they all happen to be right here on South Maui. Whether you're looking for a quiet and peaceful retreat or a fun-filled day in the sun, South Maui has something for everyone. So grab your reef-safe sunscreen, your snorkel gear, and get ready to experience some of the most beautiful beaches in Hawaii. Mahalo for watching. If you like the videos that we're creating, please hit the subscribe, hit the bell, so that you can be made aware of every time we post a new video. And more importantly, please post in the comments below what's your favorite beach and tell us why.